Hello beautiful artists, welcome to GQ Design Studio. My name is Gabe and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this painting right here. It's a wonderful Aurora Borealis. These are the colors that you're going to be using today. Black, high-low green, cobalt blue, yellow, and like a light purple. These are the brushes that you're going to be using today. First we have this fat brush right here with a flat top and his name is Megatron. Next off, we have this sort of pointed brush right here, and I'm going to name him Ignacio. And finally, we have this fine point brush right here, and his name is Tito. <laughs> so cute. We're going to start off with Megatron, so let's go ahead and put him inside the water cup. Dry the excess water off on the side of the cup here, and finally dab him on the paper towel. Dab dab. The first color we're going to be using today is black. So go ahead and put black paints on both sides of Megatron. And let's go ahead and start with really, really wide horizontal brush strokes like this. We want to make them super duper wide going from one side of the canvas to the other. Lay this paint on smooth and just keep your brush in a horizontal direction. Don't glob your paints on here. We just want a nice thin black background. So we're just going to keep this going all the way down. Of course, you could always use a black canvas too if you have one of those. Now let's go ahead and paint the right side of the canvas and the left side as well. And the reason we paint the sides is so when you hang it up on your wall you don't need a frame and it'll look like a nice complete painting. Now that we have a nice black background, we can go ahead and let that paint dry. Now that it's been 25 long and hard years, we can go ahead and move on to our next color. And we're gonna start mixing some colors. So first off, I'm just gonna take a scoop of this yellow paint right here, put it off to the side, and I'll take a scoop of this high-low green, and I'm gonna mix the two together. So we're making a nice light green. And with this new color, we can go in from the right about four inches, and then from the halfway point, let's go about two inches up so we're about right here and we're just gonna make this nice little curve down here and it's gonna swoosh down down to the bottom like this and now this line we can just follow through with the same brush stroke shape and we're just gonna start bringing it out to the right we're just making this line fatter And let's follow through and just bring this down a little bit right here. And then we're just going to curve this up like this. And also we'll fill this in up here. We're gonna go ahead and let that chill for now and we'll mix our next color. And for our next color, we'll just take a scoop of this cobalt blue and put it off to the side. And we'll take a scoop of this high-low green and we'll mix it together and we're gonna make sort of this marine looking color. There it is. We want a little bit more green than blue. And with this new color, we can go ahead and take our brush and we're gonna move it around in a circle like this. So our brush strokes are very, very circular and I'm just going around and kind of filling out this area underneath our swoosh. We're gonna go and fill in this little cove right here. and we'll bring this color out over here on the left hand side. And we'll bring it down to the corner. These trees right here, 
They're all sitting on top of the Aurora Borealis, so it's important that we keep the bottom of the painting nice and light, so when we paint the black trees on top of it, it contrasts against the sky. Okay, we're gonna keep bringing this up on this side, and we're just gonna cut over and leave the top left corner mainly black. And we can go into our original light green a little bit. And I'm just gonna take my brush and just keep moving in a circle and pushing it out to the edge. So it kind of creates like this cloudy texture going out into the black. So it's not just like a hard line separating this marine color in the black. And I'm gonna bring it also this way. Let's go ahead and switch on over to our yellow and green mix again. And we're going to kind of create this little cutout right here. So from around the center of the canvas, I'm just going to kind of create this swoosh. And it's going to go out towards the end of the canvas. And I'll trace over it to the left a couple times to make it a little bit fatter. And let's skip a little area right here. And we'll kind of cut out a little piece of negative space for that to sit in. And we'll just make it a little bit fatter as well. All right, and then also we'll cut out the shape of the other cutout right here. And we'll fatten it up. And then from the left side here, I'm just gonna take my brush and then work it in a circle like this and I'm gonna push it out into the marine color that we just made a minute ago. And I'm just gonna keep my brush in a circular motion. That way it remains this cloudy texture. And creates this nice little blend. Let's clean off our brush again. And the next color we're gonna be using is cobalt blue. And with this blue, I'm just gonna come up over here and work my brush in a circle and I'm just gonna really make this part blue. Remember to keep your brush strokes in a circle and we're really just gonna push this out into the black and make it disappear. And over here, we're gonna push this blue, I'm just gonna brighten up this area a little bit. And then we can clean off our brush again. And the next color we're gonna use is this light purple. And with this light purple, I'm just gonna make a small little circle right here and really make this part nice and purple. We can go ahead and add a little bit of white to this marine color that we made earlier. And we're just gonna make a nice little teal color like this. And then from the bottom here, we can just kind of add this teal and then we're just gonna bring it out into the marine color that we made in a minute ago. So I just dip my brush one time and I'm working it in a circle so it naturally thins out and goes right into the marine color that we made. And this is good because our trees are gonna sit on top of here and it's really, really gonna make the trees stand out having this light color in the background. Keeping this teal going, I'm gonna go here on the right hand side and I'm just gonna outline this swoosh a little bit and go right into the swoosh as well and just introduce some of this teal onto that light green that we have there. So my brushes are going with the shape that's already there. And I'm just gonna bring it out to the right And now from the right, I'm just gonna add the marine color. And I'm just gonna make it go right into there. And this color we can just kind of bring out and fill out this right hand side. And this color, I'm gonna swoosh it out to the right now. It's gonna kind of change direction. All right, 
right, and from this side over here, I'm just gonna keep my brush in a circular motion now. And I'm just gonna touch it to this groove that we have right here. My brush broke. So this whole area, let's go ahead and just fill in with the marine color. And then we can just fill in some of this area right here with a little bit of green. Because the lighter we have this part, the easier it'll be to see the trees. So we'll just brighten it up a little bit. So let's go back to our teal color, which is the blue, green, and white mix. And we'll kind of just lighten up this area up here and bring it out into a marine color. All right, and then we can kind of just brighten up this area here. So these circle brush strokes are our best friend. And I'll kind of soften up this edge over here so it's not just a hard line separating these two lines. And of course we'll continue this color over here on this side and kind of just brighten up this whole area. Kind of like how you brightened up my whole day. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a scoop of this white and I'm gonna add it to the green and yellow mix that we made. I'm gonna make a very, very light green and I'm just gonna go over this line one more time take some of the paint off my brush and I'm just gonna work it in there so we get this nice little highlight right here. Of course, let's go ahead and bring our brush out and dry brush it, kind of make it dissipate into the other colors. And we can kind of knock it back a little bit too with the teal. And let's go ahead and brighten up some of this area too. And I'm using more of like a liney brush stroke here because these auroras have these streaks going through. We have like kind of a light part right here. So let's go ahead and put some more of that light teal on our brush and if you ran out you can go ahead and just make some more it's the blue green and white mix so this part just kind of comes in right here and goes down and we'll just kind of fill in this area a little bit I'll take some paints off of my brush on the paper towel and then we'll just kind of continue bringing this line over we're just really brightening this bad boy up right here. And then we'll go in with our marine color, which is just the blue and green by itself. And we'll just fade it in right here on this side. All right, we're gonna go in with pure blue and we're just gonna bring that back over here on this side and kind of just push my brush out until there's no more blue paints on there. And we'll do the same over here in this corner. We want to really bring the blue out on this side. Let's clean off our brush and we're just going to do this lavender part one more time. It was a little bit wet before so it kind of changed the color. But we want this part to actually be purple. Alright, we'll clean off our brush one more time and just use the regular cobalt blue. And I'm just going to add this cobalt blue over here to this corner and kind of like push it out until there's no more paint left. And I'm also going to kind of bring this out over here on the right hand side too. And then on this blue, I'm just going to kind of marry these two sides together, the blue side and the purple side. And I'll bring this down over here for the trees of life. And now the next brush we're gonna be using is Little Tito. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, so now we're just gonna make some light blue to taking a scoop of this blue. 
putting it to the side and taking some white and mixing it together and making a nice little light blue. There it is. That's the color we've been searching for our whole life. And I'm gonna take some blue off of my brush. I don't want that much. And then I'm just gonna make this kind of swoosh right here. I'm gonna go in there and just make a little swoosh. So I have my brush going back and forth in like a diagonal way. It's gonna look a little goofy just sitting there by itself, but once we put some trees on it, it's gonna really make this look a lot better. I'll just bring a little light blue over here. Let's go ahead and clean off little Tito. And the next color we're gonna use is the light green. So it's the green and the yellow mix. And I'm just gonna do that same strategy, but I'm gonna do it over here with this light green. And I'm just gonna go back and forth with this diagonal brush stroke. I'm really just going to work that paint in there and make a nice little streak. And it's a nice long streak, so don't be afraid to make it nice and big. And we can take this same color and kind of make some lines going up and down this way here. Let's go ahead and switch back over to Ignacio. And we're going to use that same light green color. And then I'm just going to bring this color out a little bit because we want this part to be a little bit brighter. So I'm really just going to bring this part out and marry it over here on this side. And then I'll just knock it back with a little bit of teal. Alright, so that's the Aurora part and we're going to move on to the stars now. And for the stars, I'm going to get Ignacio and I'm going to clean them off completely. We're going to do things a little bit differently here. We're going to really, really, really dilute our white paint. So I'm going to grab a scoop of this white paint and put it over here on the side. And now I'm going to take some water and I'm really just going to dilute it and make it watery. Because we're going to do a technique to do stars that's going to be quick and easy and it's going to look cool. So now I have diluted white paint on my brush. And I'm literally going to come over here and I'm going to flick my brush like so. And you'll see that it just starts making these stars. And I'm just adding these stars mainly on the top part of the painting. And just like that, it creates a bunch of little stars here for us. And that's how you make stars in two seconds. So let's put Ignacio back into the water cup and we're gonna finish off with Little Tito right here. And with Little Tito, let's go ahead and clean him off and the next color we're gonna be using is black. So we'll dip Tito into the black paint. And notice here that the tree line is low in the center and then it kind of goes up like this and it kind of gives it like an interesting perspective like you're going into the trees. So I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just going to kind of like get us ready for that by drawing a curved line like this. And this is the basic shape that we can follow for the tree line. And I'm about maybe two inches below the halfway point right here on the right hand side and the left. Alright, so with little Tito, let's go ahead and put them into the black paint. Find the center of your canvas. And let's go up like pretty much, uh, I'd say about the halfway points of your little scoop right here. And we'll draw a line going straight down. I'm keeping my brush turned up like this so I can actually use the point of Little Tito to give me the point of the top of the trees. And all of these trees are essentially going to be triangles, so I'm just going to exaggerate the triangle shape. And now with the point of Little Tito, I'm going to kind of mess up the side of this tree because I don't want it to be such a straight line, you know, I want it to have like, kind of like a bushy texture. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side here. So that is our first tree. 
and there's another tree kind of like right next to him. So we'll go ahead and do the same step. This one's a little bit thinner, but it's the same thing. It's a nice little triangle and we're gonna mess up the sides. So I'm gonna skip on over to the right hand side and I'm gonna draw a nice diagonal big line right here. And we'll turn this diagonal line into a big old tree. So let's go ahead and mess up this perfect line on both sides. And everything underneath that initial line that we painted can be painted black. This is gonna be our foreground. And there's another big tree right here, kinda of hanging off the edge of the canvas. And coming over here. And now with this space here, we can kind of take our trees and slowly angle them to that one that we just made there. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's a bunch of little ones right here, so let's just go ahead and knock those bad boys out. And you see these spaces right here in between the trees? I'm gonna do my best to make it so there's no spaces and there's like a triangle tree in every single part of the foreground here. Once again, let's go ahead and fill in everything below this line with black. And now I'm gonna come on this side, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line going this way. And then we're gonna repeat the same steps as before. So that does it for the tree line. So let's go ahead and clean off Ignacio and put some more teal on our brush here. And I'm gonna scrape some paint off because I just want a hint of it. And then I'll go in right here with my circular brush strokes and I'll just add this teal color. So congratulations, you guys are done with this beautiful painting. You can go ahead and sign the painting on whatever corner that you want to with white or whatever color your heart desires. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me. Giveaway time, so every week I do a giveaway of one of the paintings that's in my portfolio. Last week it was this one, and the winner is right here. Congratulations, just private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact info and mail you your painting. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. If you guys like what I'm doing here, then go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing because I plan on doing these every week or so. Also, I have a Patreon page if you guys really want to help support me. Any pledge that you guys put in is always greatly appreciated. Once again, my name is Gabe. You guys have been awesome, and until next time, stay creative.